op-amps and op-amp swapping has become very popular recently in the audiophile community. So what are op-amps and uh, why you should take a look at the one that I have recently found? That's what we are going to talk about today. Before we start, uh, I would like to apologize for the messy background. We are currently occupying a temporary apartment. We have 120 boxes all around us and I just don't feel like uh, cleaning all the mess every time I want to shoot a video. I hope you're not taking it as a sign of uh, disrespect to my viewers. I'm just being lazy. Anyway, let's talk about op-amps or operational amplifiers. They are usually tiny things like uh, these. You can see two types of them. I will talk about them in a minute. And I would compare them to tubes in tube amps, which you can change. And depending on the producer, the quality of the tube, it modifies the sound characteristics uh, of your amplifier. And the same goes for op amps. They are basically a bunch of uh, transistors, resistors, capacitors, uh, all put together on a very tiny surface. And they are widely used in amplifiers, preamplifiers, DACs, etc. Op amps or operational amplifiers, as the name suggests, amplify voltage. They help process and shape audio signals and they are widely used because they are small, efficient and uh, very precise. There are basically two types of uh, op-amps. The integrated uh, chips like this one and discrete ones uh, with multiple parts mounted on uh, tiny PCBs. With integrated op-amps you have everything baked into a silicon chip. They are small and uh, basically their advantage is that you can put uh, them in a tiny space and that they are cheap to produce. For example, this one is uh, less than a dollar and this one is about $70. With discrete op-amps you have more space to put higher quality components on it and you can modify or design them more freely. Of course, uh, the size means that you cannot fit them everywhere, like uh, in the case of those integrated chips. But because there is more space between those tiny parts, they do not interfa interfere with one another. So this means uh, lower noise floor, for example, cleaner sound and other benefits. I like the analogy of digital photo cameras where you have this uh, matrix of pixels that uh, takes in light and uh, records a photo. It consists of uh, millions of, uh, of, tiny, of tiny elements and when the light shines on them they heat up and if the matrix is very small they heat up also the pixels or the, or the elements next next to them and uh, this way you get a more blurry picture that's why a bigger matrix is usually better and the same goes for op amps quite recently mostly due to the proliferation of those uh, tiny Chinese built class D amplifiers, it has become quite popular to modify them by swapping mm, op amps. And the audio equipment producers uh, encourage this by designing uh, those units so that it's uh, easy to take out an op amp and uh, put in another without having to solder in or out. Uh, elements of uh, of it and I was playing recently with uh, 
a new op amp from Duke Audio that I will be review, reviewing uh, soon. So subscribe uh, to my channel if you if you want to know this one. And uh, it's interesting because uh, it is the the first uh, amp that has this uh, removable lid that very easily allows you to take out uh, one op amp and put another one without having to undo the the whole chassis inside it looks like like this you can see this uh, let me zoom in sorry i'll try to focus well anyway you can see here the place where the other op amp was uh, taken out and i replaced it with uh, not like this and I replaced it with uh, this bigger one and the bigger one that you can see here is uh, a JFET op amp from Musk Audio and I think if you can afford a $70 op amp it's a no-brainer and it is also a no-brainer because uh, Musk in Polish means uh, brain so you know, Musk Audio, no brainer, a joke. In this amplifier, those discrete op amps from Musk Audio, and uh, I needed two of them, replaced the standard uh, NE 5532P op amps from Texas Instruments. And those are those uh, tiny integrated chips. These are less than $1 and this is uh, $70 each. Was there any difference when I swapped the uh, op amps? Of course they was, and it was audible and obvious even to my untrained ears. The first thing I noticed was uh, a much darker background, meaning that there is less noise when there is no music or in, in between the passages. So this results in uh, in better resolution of the music, meaning that uh, instruments are better separated in space and vocals are better separated. So you have a, a better feeling of the size and depth uh, of the sound stage. The sound stage became uh, wider when I listened to Chocolate Chip Trip from Pool which I stole from uh, Randy, the chip audio man. Uh, it has a, a very interesting effect of, uh, of a bell moving from right to left and left to right. So it's a very good uh, piece of music to test the width of, uh, of the sound stage. And with this uh, uh, new op amp, the stage seemed uh, about 15 to 20 percent wider than with the standard op amp. The second thing I noticed were better defined lows and uh, more controlled and textured bass. For example, in uh, Tashik by Anita Lipnitz, there is a, a, a very pronounced kick drum at the beginning of, uh, of the song. And uh, with those uh, discrete op amps from Musk Audio, uh, I could uh, really hear the texture of this, I don't know how it's called, the, the hammer that hits the kick drum. I could hear the wooliness of it, if it makes any sense uh, to you, but it was really apparent. Mid-range and uh, treble were also better defined, so vocals, female vocals were clearer and uh, everything was uh, more audible like uh, you took the veil off of something and don't get me wrong the the amp uh, i tested sounds uh, very good right out of the box but with those op amps it was uh, even better as i said and uh, showed you a discrete op amp consists of uh, a lot of different parts and the producer on the website details what elements are 
used on this one among others of course like dual factory selected uh, transistors panasonic resistors uh, precision potentiometer uh, with a ceramic track it's uh, incredible but uh, these tiny things uh, I don't know if you can see here but I will also put the picture uh, on on this block you even have tiny uh, tiny potentiometers that you can regulate this thing with it also has uh, gold plated pins and uh, gold plated PCB so uh, it is a marvel of engineering i would i would say if you like tinkering with uh, your equipment and if you're watching this video you probably are you should definitely test different op amps in your amplifiers or DACs or preamplifiers and of course you should uh, compare those integrated uh, op amps and discrete ones if uh, you can afford it I would really highly encourage you to take a look at uh, those op amps from from Musk Audio of course I'm biased because uh, this is a Polish producer and I'm from Poland as well so uh, so this is also why I why I like them but uh, they they do make a difference even in a relatively cheap amplifier cheap amplifier like like this one and I'm sure mm, if you have something I would say of a higher standard they would uh, make even more difference I will be testing them in other amplifiers that I have and that allow op amp switching. I will also test them in uh, the DAX that I have. So stay with me here, subscribe to this channel and join our little community of normal music and uh, audio equipment lovers.